Hi, my name is Jason Tarmino, and I'm asking you to vote yes on Measure L and support the West Davis active adult community. The theme of our neighborhood is that taking care of seniors is a worthy endeavor. There's five main components to our project, but before I get into that, I wanna tell you the story about how this started. My parents were out to dinner uh, at Trace Hermanas, and they saw an older lady standing by the bus stop, obviously in some sort of distress. And so they went out to ask her if they could help, and she said yes, yeah, she had missed the last bus, and she didn't have any way to get home. So they gave her a ride home to the Eleanor Roosevelt uh, Senior Housing Development. Um, and this got my dad thinking about seniors in town, and so he called David Thompson, who he's known for many years, who he and Luke Watkins were the developers of the Eleanor Roosevelt apartment complex. Uh, and from that, the idea grew that having an entire neighborhood focused on seniors would be a good idea. And so the five components of this neighborhood are, first of all, location. It's located west of Sutter Davis Hospital, uh, which is important because as people age and certainly get into their 80s, the idea that there's an emergency room a few hundred yards away um, is nice for them. Second of all, the Sutter Davis um, medical offices are there, where my kids go. There's Communicare, which serves lower income seniors. Down the street is Dignity Healthcare. Down the street from there is UC Davis Health, where my wife and I go and my parents go. Um, and so the location is critical. It's also within a half mile of the marketplace where Pete's Coffee is and Safeway and there's a pharmacy there. So it's close for seniors to walk, to drive, to ride bikes, to ride electric tricycles. Uh, other components, uh, are the senior affordable housing. We were required to build about 60 units. Instead, we decided to build 150 units uh, for two reasons. One, the demand is so great. And number two, when you have that number, 150, you can provide other services um, that seniors need, especially social workers. Uh, the next component of the project is single story homes uh, that are smaller. So we have 1,200 square foot homes, 1,400 square foot homes, 1,800 square foot homes. We have condos, cottages, bungalows. And the whole idea here is that there are hundreds and hundreds of seniors living in large homes all over Davis who would love a new house that's right size for them, that's energy efficient, that will serve them for their last phase of life. But when they talk about selling their current home and moving in Davis, there just isn't any options for that. The next thing that I'd like to mention is our activity and wellness center. So the Activity and Wellness Center has a pool that's open to the public, not just the neighborhood, a health club open to the public, a public restaurant, meeting rooms open to the public. Um, rather than building something that was fantastic but only for the neighborhood, we decided it was important to open it up for all of Davis. And lastly is the University Retirement Community. We reserved land for the University Retirement Community, which is located across the street of Cobell Boulevard, so that they would have a place to expand. I think most likely it will become a memory care facility. And anyone who's ever cared for somebody who's aging, who has Alzheimer's or some other dementias, knows how important it is um, to have these facilities nearby. Um, lastly, I'd like to remind you that voting yes on Measure L and supporting the West Davis active adult community is a worthy endeavor, and that taking care of our seniors is an important part of what we do as a community. Thank you.